Howdy YouTube. So, this Jeep's got a problem. Let me show you. I got lights here and here. But I got none here, there, or these two fender lights. So today I'm going to show you how to diagnose what the problem is, and hopefully I'm going to fix this problem. All right, so the first thing you would think is, oh, it must have blown fuses. Okay, so this Jeep here is a uh, 2007 uh, JK. And the way it works with the, with the lights is, the right side is on a, one fuse, and the left side is on another fuse. Well, the taillights still work. So for me, I'm saying the fuses are probably good, but I'm gonna do a continuity check anyhow. Now on this Jeep, they are in the panel. It's M17 and 16, I believe. I know which ones they are in here. They're basically right by this one relay here. There are two 15 amp fuses that are sitting here. So if I do a continuity check on these fuses, right, you'll see centimeter reading. Yeah, that one's good. And that one's good. And fuses aren't, aren't the problem. Typically you would have a fuse box in an older car and it's essentially wired right to the battery and it's it's a fuse box everything on one side would be hot everything on the other side would be um, hot through the fuse this is a little bit different this is called a, a TIPM TPIM TIPM totally integrated power module there you go um, so the way this works is the switch inside will send a signal to in here uh, to the TIPM the TIPM turns on these fuses so I need the lights on in order to check to see if there's voltage on these fuses I'll throw this baby to volts DC I'll put it here where you can read it I find myself a ground there's actually a good one right here and I'll check these fuses for power. Now I'm seeing something, 11.85 something on that one and 11.85 on that one. So I actually have power to these fuses. I've got power that, that's going to the lights. So I need to see um, where the ground are, grounds are for those lights. So the easiest way to do that is to pull the grill off and get to these lights. Now with the side marker ones here, I can get to them just by twisting it out. So I'll twist the bulb out and right there is my bulb. I don't know if you can see it hanging there. Um, that, that's my bulb. So the other ones inside the grill here, I'll have to pull the grill off. Okay, so from here, I've got my light bulbs. And with these, it's a little bit tricky. It's got this little red thing on it that you gotta pry out. And then you push on it to get it off. I'm gonna take my ground lead and I'm gonna stick it on a, a good ground, a known good ground, which is right here. And then I'm gonna probe these uh, leads. So right here, I got 11.4 on the first one. On the second one, I got 11.8. And on the last one, I got nothing. All right, so that tells me that with a good ground, I've got voltage on these first two. So now, if I took this plug and I use voltage from 
here I should be able to use that third one as my ground and get readings and look what I'm getting I'm getting like 1.4 volts on this other one I'm getting 1.38 volts so what does that tell me it tells me that I don't have ground I don't have a good ground coming from this plug up to up to the top and I'm going to tell you that I probably don't have a good ground for all four of these because they all go to the same ground. Let's see if I can see it. Right here is where my power steering is. The ground for those lights is right here. So it is pretty easy to see. But I'm gonna have to get this out of the way in order to, uh, to mess around with this. I'm gonna say that that ground is probably bad. So let's take this air box out and then dig into it. Here's my ground. You can see that it's corroded down in here. So I don't think I'm gonna get away with just cleaning up this connection here. So in any case, let's take this off. Sometimes you can get away with just cleaning off this connection. It's not gonna work this time because I could see the corrosion down here in, in the wires themselves. So that's where my problem is. All right, so I chopped them off here. I had to move my power steering pump out of the way. Um, I'm gonna leave that big one connected for right now. So these are my, I've got five. <laughs> so one's probably turn signal. I'm not sure what they are. I'll be honest with you. I don't know why I got five. But I cut one and stripped it some. And I still don't really like that metal, but I'm gonna reuse it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strip a couple more of these. Let me actually get my strippers out. And uh, see where I'm at. All right, so let's, uh, let's get these things tied together. And then uh, solder it up. All right, so this baby is, uh, okay, I got some on there. Let's uh, see if I can heat that up. I don't know that it's gonna be able to heat this all up. I'll be honest with you, that might not ever work. Simply because it's so darn cold out. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They are all soldered together. That's as good as it's gonna get in this weather. And I'm gonna do it with a, a sealed type. Now, unfortunately, this is the only one I got. Um, so it's gonna, not gonna be the easiest to get done. But basically, I gotta get it inside this piece. And then this piece, when I, when I heat shrink it, it will seal, it will solder to that. All right, so that's the best I'm gonna do right there for now. I got a crimp on one of them and the solder. I got hot, it didn't get that hot. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Hopefully it's gonna be good enough to get me some lights. And when it gets warmer, I'll have to do it again. I'll just have to heat it back up. All right, so from here, you can see the lights. Let's, uh, let me fire the lights up and see if we got lights. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm cold. I'm gonna go get a bulb. I'm gonna go get a couple bulbs and get this thing put back together. And um, yeah, and then we'll see you. Then I got lights. Yeah. All right, baby, I'll talk to you.